Praise the Lord and welcome to another Thirsty Thursday. I am your host, Reverend Dr. Etta Anderson of There's Hope Ministry. It is such an awesome pleasure to meet you here today. Ah, I know, I know one thing, we're getting ready to launch into the deep. But before we launch into the deep, let us meet the Father in the throne room. Father God, we praise you. We thank you, God, for blessing us to meet you in this holy space today, oh God. Your servants are listening. Speak, Lord. We want to hear everything that you have to say. Our hearts and our ears are attentive. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah and amen. Amen, amen, amen. Well, we are we are here in this ninth month. Last week, uh, we had a good little discussion talking about the number nine and this September being the ninth month and how God was going to be birthing something through us. Our new beginnings are here. Our new beginnings are here. And yet we have circumcised our flesh. We've cut some things back. And now here we are in this ninth month. Let's hear what God has to say to us about that number nine. If you would go with me to Luke chapter 23, Luke chapter 23, verses 44 and 45. 44 and 45. I know, I know a lot of times we only go here when it's getting close to uh, the Easter tide, but this is what God has been speaking to me. And once again, uh, regarding that number nine and what God is getting ready to do in this hour, in this season for us. Yes, we've entered into a new season. This is an exciting time. I want you all to get excited with me. The word says, now it was about the sixth hour and there was darkness over all the earth until the ninth hour. Then the sun was darkened and the veil of the temple was torn in two. There are some uh, versions that say was ripped apart. Others say that it was torn apart. But we know that the temple was no longer this one solid piece, but it was torn apart. It was broken apart. It was ripped apart, torn in two. And then as we study the word of God, we know that that thing that separated us from God was torn in two. Jesus himself was ripped apart so that we would have an entryway to the Father. And this occurred in the ninth hour. But I want us to look at some things from that sixth to the ninth hour. There was darkness over all the earth. I want us to think about the womb of a woman who's ready to give birth. Before her hour comes that she's about to birth a new being into the earth, her body has gone through some changes. Her womb, that dark place, has gone through some changes. It opened up so that another human being could be um, could be rooted in her, planted in her, take root and start to grow on the inside of her. But that womb, a dark place. As 
as Jesus was hanging on the cross. Jesus birthed something new, a new possibility that would become a reality for those that believe. He allowed his body that was beaten all night long. He allowed his flesh to be ripped apart so that you and I could believe on him to have an entryway into the Father. Now, here we are in this ninth month. In this ninth month, God is ready to birth some things through us. Uh, this is the part that you don't want to hear. But it's going to feel like some things are being ripped apart from us. Everything is not going to go as smoothly as you think or as you had hoped for. Because God is birthing something new through you. But if you allow yourself to rest in Jesus, you will be able to breathe in and breathe out and you will be able to birth the thing that God has put on the inside of you because God has been using the last several months to build your character that you may bring forth, that you may sprout in this earth realm, that thing that he created inside of you. The new character, the love, the joy, the peace, the long suffering, the meekness, the kindness, that self control. And this is the hour. So you are getting ready to birth. I don't know whether it's a new ministry that you are birthing, if it's a new uh, job opportunity that you are birthing. If the church itself that you are a part of in this earth realm is getting ready to do something new, you are a part of it. And God is wanting your body, hallelujah, to give birth. He's wanting to use your body. He's wanting to use your hands. He's wanting to use your arms, your legs, your feet to do the work that he has called you to do. He could not release it to you until now, until your character was built. So now you can resist the temptation that comes your way where things look good, things look easy. But you're forsaking some things that you know should be done so that you could have that quick, easy fix. Now you have passed the test. That's no longer a part of your character. That's no longer a part of who you are that used to be. Now, uh, the new thing is being birthed through you. The people will see the new character. They will see the new creation in you. Uh, in this ninth month, a new youth is being birthed. A new youth is springing forth a new you. It's put on exposition in this earth realm. God is bragging on you. God is boasting on you. So in this hour, don't forsake who you are in Christ Jesus. You are a brand new creation. Yes. <laughs> There's a new you. Some may talk about you. Some may sniggle, giggle about you to intimidate you, to try to make you go back to that old you. But the old you is passed away. Behold, all things have become brand new. 
this is not this is not this is not the time for me to talk about all of the things that that happened on the cross but don't you know they talked about Jesus while he was on that cross even the very ones that needed him the most talked about him on the cross if you are who you say you are save yourself and us too but you got to be the one who knows assuredly know who you used to be but know who you can be know who you are now in Christ Jesus Jesus you didn't deserve none of that that you went through but me yeah I deserve it and watch listen don't you hear Jesus say to you get this this is what I need somebody to hear this day see everything is changing for you we're not talking about uh, the futuristic you. We're talking about the now you. you. Things are changing right now for you in this very hour because it's the ninth hour in your life. This is when the new you is coming into fruition. You shall see the manifestation of the new you. Do you believe it? Do you receive it? Shall you come forth? I'm telling you now, God has given you all that you need to be the new you. God has given you all that you need so the new you will come forth. Come forth with confidence. Come forth knowing who you are in Christ Jesus. It's not because of you. It's because of the Christ in you. I'm not telling you something that, that to set you up that you fail, I'm telling you something to set you up so that you can see the success in your life. Even when things, everything don't go your way, hallelujah. You know that all things work for the good of those who love the Lord and are the called according to his purpose. See, that's how you can and you will walk confidently knowing who you are in Christ Jesus because no matter what's going on, there's no failure in you. There's no failure in Christ. When you have joined together with Christ Jesus, there's no failure in you. Because our, why? Because our things, all things are working together for the good of those who love the Lord. Those that are called according to his purpose. See, all of us have a calling on our lives. All of us have purpose for our lives, but not all of us are living according to that purpose. Not all of us want to live according to their purpose. Let's just put it, let's just put it straightforward today. So today I'm calling forth, I'm calling forth all of those who want to be that new creation in Christ Jesus. God has great things for you. Believe and receive it. This is the ninth hour. This is your hour to give birth. Last week I told you, pray until something happens. You have to push. But in the midst of your pushing, you have to breathe. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Because see the contractions, the pains, the labor pains will come. But just... Breathe in some Jesus. Exhale all of that stuff, that old stuff. Blow it out. It's over there, stand with. Rest in Jesus. Because when the next pain comes, that's who's going to help you to push. That's, that's, that's who's going to be pushing on your back. That's the who's going to be encouraging you. You can do it. You can do it. You got this. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. He's strengthening you. He's strengthening you. Ah, this is no time to be talking about giving up. This is your time to be talking about going on. Going to the next level. Because when you come through this, when you give birth to this, you'll be in another dimension. Ah, the joy of the Lord is your strength push my brother push my sister this is 
your finest hour yet. <laughs> God has great things for you. He's releasing the blessing now. Will you receive it? Ah, I know that in this ninth hour, the sun has been darkened. I understand that. But know this, the veil, the veil of your temple has been torn apart. Uh, I know that it hurt. I know that it hurt because your flesh has to go through some things, but it's for the good. It's for your good. And it's for your God to be glorified. The pain won't last forever. Remember last week, Jesus said, as soon as that woman who was in travail gave birth to that child, joy took over. And she no longer remembered her sorrow. But she's rejoicing. I got a new thing. It's a new me. I'm different. Yeah, I'm different. Oh, no, okay, okay, okay. I'm not going to play with y'all today. But just know that you can do it. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Walk in victory. Walk in the new you. This is it. I'm so proud of you. I'm so godly proud of you. You look different. You sound different. You are acting different. Yeah, I like that. I like that. But I, 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 don't have, I don't have much time to stay on here today. I just want you to know that you are about to see the greatest you that you've ever seen. Yes. And as I stated before, this is your finest hour thus far in Christ Jesus. Oh, you got even greater things to come. But just enjoy this moment. Enjoy this ninth hour and see what the Lord has in store for you. That's all, that's all the time that I have today. I, I'm asking that uh, you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Not only subscribe to it, but hit the like and the share button. Share this message with others. Share the other messages with others. Encourage somebody along the way. That's what I want to do. I want to encourage you in Christ Jesus, not just telling you any old thing, but telling you what that says the Lord, what Holy Spirit is speaking in this hour for you. So I'm praying for you. I'm praying for you. Those under the sound of my voice, I'm praying specifically for you that God will release a blessing that's so great that you don't have enough room to receive that blessing just for you but that you will run and share with somebody. I want your testimony to be so great that you will be like the woman at the well, that she threw down her water bucket and she ran back to the city and she told everybody about a man who told her about everything that she had ever done, but how he still loved her and respected her. Oh, somebody got a great testimony coming. And I want you to be able to share that testimony. So hit the like button, hit the share. Make sure you subscribe, but also leave your testimony. Share the great things that God has done for you, that God is doing for you, how God has kept you, how God has never forsaken you. Oh, I want to hear somebody's testimony today. I just want you to know that I love you. I love you. I care for you. But the Father loves you more. The Father cares for you more. Before I let you go, let me pray with you. 
Let me pray for you. Father God, I'm praying that you bless that one that's under the sound of my voice, oh God. Bless that one who's been going through the labor pains, oh God, and could not understand why so much pressure was upon them, oh God. Not realizing that they were getting ready to birth a new thing, oh God. They themselves were getting ready to be birthed as a new thing, a new creation, oh God. Lord, I'm just asking that you get the glory out of our lives, oh God. Our labor is not in vain, oh God, but you be glorified, oh God. Lord, we ask it all in that beautiful, in that matchless name of Jesus the Christ. Hallelujah and amen. Family, I got to get out of here, but until we meet again, love you. Mm, blessings. Bye-bye.